YouTube kick. We're here watching another video. Um, young lady here. Let me know what y'all think. Let's get it. I'm guessing there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, you know, it's a felony to meet any minor off the internet in the state of Colorado. Oh, look. Yet again, another trans woman, a self ID'd trans woman, going to meet a minor because they wanted to go shopping and maybe kiss because there's nothing wrong with that. Right? See, this is the type of man that you expect women to blindly and with arms open accept into our spaces, our shelters, our prisons, our bathrooms. This is not the type of man that I want around my child, nor any woman wants around her. These are pedophiles. These are autogynephiliacs. And the sooner you recognize and realize that your all-inclusive community can't just say, well, they're not really trans when they are clearly living as a trans woman, then maybe, just maybe, you'll start to realize the rest of us aren't transphobic because we hate trans people, but actually concerned about the well-being and safety of ourselves and others. That's not a cishet white man, ladies and gentlemen. That is a trans woman through and through. Or are you going to be transphobic and claim that they're not really trans? Wake up. Recognize that you live in a cult full of lies. And then maybe we can come together and find resolution on how to move forward as a society. Own up to those members of your community that are doing harm. Exhibit A, the man at the beginning of this video who is a trans woman. Okay, so based off what I just was listening to, I think what she was trying to defend is that the fact that this was a man, and I, even though it's a trans woman, but this is the man who was doing this kind of stuff, and we're going too far to protect these kind of men. I was talking about this earlier. I do think that we kind of give um, too much credence and too much of a pass to people who are trans men. You know, just we have to, I, I have to say this, if, some, if a man comes out and says he's trans, we need to look into that. Like, once again, I've said we need to start doing some talking, but we don't. But if a man says he's trans, we need to be like, okay, hold on. Let's have a real discussion about this because is, there is a chance that this man is creepy. We can't just say because a man wants to be a woman that he's just a normal everyday guy and he just wants to live his life as a woman. I say the same thing if we're talking about trans men, right? But it seems to be the trans women who tend to kind of go off the rails. But there are women who've done the same thing. I think that woman who wanted to be a man changed her life into a man, went into that store and asked people, but that was more of an anomaly. That just happens. She's probably a psychopath. But I, I would agree that we just can't pass up and be like if a guy comes out and says i want to wear a dress and i want to dress up like a little girl that we should just be like cool no i think we should be like what uh let's talk about this young man let's let's have a conversation let's just go through therapy or at least have a talk do some counseling or just something i don't understand why what the concept of truly is of just letting people just say they are what they are instead of going through this because if i feel like if a person says they want to be a female i'm a little disturbed i'm a little like wait wait a minute i can understand Fem boys and I can understand tomboys, but I don't understand the concept of just being like, oh, I want to wear the dress. I want to be a woman in every form. I want to go into their bathrooms. I want to invite, I want to be part of their sports. I want to be around women and do women things with women. I'm going to have to question that and be like, why? Why do you feel like so much that every part of you has to do everything women do? You want to have periods. You want to have, you want to be pregnant. You want to pretend you have a uterus. You want to like all that stuff comes out to me. It's kind of like, that's odd. Don't you think? You don't have any of those body parts, so why do you want to go to the female's bathroom so much? Like, why do you want to be in there with them? Because you don't feel comfortable around men? Why? Why don't you feel comfortable around men? Let's start asking those questions. Then maybe we can start to get to the bottom of things instead of just assuming, ah, oh, just because that's who they want to be. I get so tired of hearing that. Who? I don't care what you do with your life. I'm not going to judge. Nope, judging. Sorry, just the way it is. Uh, uh We have to because at the end of the day, I am about protecting women, but I also want to protect those men. Those men who want to be women, I like. it's not like I hate them. I do find it odd, and I'd rather us talk to them and see what's really going on in their mind and see if there's actually everything psychologically okay with them 
instead of just tossing them to the wayside and saying, oh, yeah, do what you want to and let them fall into a deep, deep depression. And then they end up either hurting somebody or themselves. I don't think that's the way we should go about it. If we really care about these people who are trans women, we should actually start having discussions, start talking to them instead of just letting them go on and do whatever, because it's not crazy that a trans look, pedophiles exist in every form and fashion. And no matter woman, man, they, they exist everywhere. But I think we are less likely to assume that a person who is a trans woman, that they could be into kids. I think we're less likely to do that because we are so afraid to say anything against a trans person that even if they are starting to act weird toward children, we're quick to say, ah, we're not going to go there because that's transphobic. Nope. We're going to start having a conversation. Don't care how they feel. We're going to have that conversation. If they say something weird towards a kid, if they get naked in front of a kid, if they keep asking kids to do all these surgeries, I'm questioning it. We're going to have a conversation. That's the way life is going to go. Good. Cheers. Okay, let me know how you feel in the comment section down below. Am I talking too fast? I apologize. That's just the way I am. Nothing you can do about it. I'm just kidding. But seriously, let me know how you feel in the comment section down below. Um, do you agree with her? Or or did I completely misinterpret what she was trying to say? Um, y'all have a great night. Love y'all. Peace.